All right. Thank you, everyone. Um, my name is Onoha Columbus, uh, and I'm taking you for a master class on art and creativities. Okay, I've been getting a lot of questions. Please remember to subscribe to the to my YouTube channel so you can get latest updates. I've been getting a lot of questions like um, how do you prime your canvas? How do you choose your canvas? How do you make local canvas? You know, some people, some professionals, um, um, industrial primed canvas is not good for them. But the one they make by themselves is good for their, especially people that does realism. If you do abstract, you can use any, any canvas. Yeah, that's cool. But when you are into portrait realism, canvas differs. You have to know this. All canvas are not the same. So how do you make your canvases? Like this is a local primed canvas. What is it made of? Materials. Materials like five fabrics. Like fabrics. All right. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates and letters. Okay. Just follow up for the video I want to show you now on how to prime your local canvas from the scratch, understand, from, from normal materials to canvas ready to use, understand? Okay, all right, now we, we are about to prime. So now we are using white glue, this is a spoon for measurement. We are using white glue top bond. Some people call it top bond, but top bond is the name of brand. White glue and emotion, that's what we are using now to mix together as a primer. This is emotion. Emotion for house painting, acrylic emotion. The deluxe there is the name of brand. So take little portion. Take little portion. Little portion. I cut, depending on what you want to do with it. Depending on what. So now. What I'm trying to show here is that the top bond measurement will be bigger than the emulsion. You see the measurement is bigger. So mix the two together. Mix it. Then add little portion of water. Water. Yes. Little portion. Don't make it too watery. It has to be thick. So, the water is like a binder here as you are mixing it until you stop seeing the water mix it well until you stop seeing the water so that they will become like one component they will become one thing they will become one they can there will be not, nothing like you can't differentiate between the two keep on mixing them until you stop seeing anything like water to look like cream to look like cream keep on mixing it yeah we are ready oh yeah okay now now this is the canvas this material is called lining when you go to the teller's shop you ask them do they have lining every teller in africa knows this i don't know about other part of the world but this is called lining it's a general material the fabric material see it is transparent i'm showing you the transparency on the stretcher so the primer, the, the, the priming is what we use to cover the transparency. Okay, now you can use anything flat, any flat surface, something that has sharp, this thing like, you can use a ruler. You can use a ruler, you can use anything that is straight. Okay, this is the already mixed primer. The mixture of top bond and emulsion. This is how you, you spread it. Make sure there is no hole. After this, you stop seeing all the um, transparency of the fabric material. You can create texture if you want. But me, sometimes I like making it smooth, depending on what you want to do. So can you see now, it's not transparent anymore. You can't see through it anymore. Okay, see this, the part that is not primed is transparent. Can you see the difference? Okay. So you can prime as much as you, as you want. You can prime two times. You can prime three times. 
depending on what you want to achieve. So I'm trying to fill the whole, the whole thing. You can see mm. this is the edge. Sometimes I can, can, you can use your hand to fill the edge, depending on what you want to do. Depending on what you want to do. Like me, I like priming everything. Here we go. Okay, after priming, you have to look for a dry place. Mm. But the best thing, the best suggestion is to go to the sun. Sun will dry it very well for you and very fast. That's when you are done with the first process of priming, dry it on the sun, then you can do your sketch. After sketching, then you do a second priming, which is with only white glue, which is transparent. Understand? All right, you do your sketch. It's good to do your sketch after the first priming so that you will avoid some certain things. Okay. Now you apply your top bond, your white glue, top bond still. So as you're applying it now, it's like coating the drawing so it, can, it can't interact with your colors or whatever you're using. It's like you're sealing it. Now you ha it's having a glossy effect like nylon. As if you laminated it. And I think here yeah, it's very good for, for painting. That's when your painting will be flowing well. Oh, I can't